Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the show. How are you all doing? Everybody all right? Excellent. Right, let's crack on, shall we? Let's go to uh, through this portal and go to Thingy's office. Let's go. Hey, it's one of those things. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on G3. But you... You've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me. But there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting <clears throat> captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit, like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Are they nipples? Oh, uh, feel free to stay as long as you'd like. Yo! So, <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. Ah, damn. You got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordeaux's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Welcome to Human TV, your number one choice for the scariest human movies fresh off the screen. Porn shop was up here, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, oh, and value customer, we've got some new items in stock, blah 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 blah. Asshole! Hey, it's that guy! Now. Sorry for yelling and calling you an asshole, but I need you to come over here right now and Here's what's up. My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you want to come over here. You want to come or what? How's business? So, you really got a lot of people looking to buy alien cum, huh? I consider it policy not to ask my clients why they want the gallons and gallons of alien cum they buy from me. I figure the less questions I ask about what people are doing with all this alien cum, the better. So, are you buying or nay? <laughs> Uh... I'm not mad, I'm just curious. Do we really look like your typical customers? Sure. Look, I have absolutely no idea. 
I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum for me. But they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographics. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians, everybody likes my delicious alien cum. I've had every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no, sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details needed. So what? what's it going to be? You want some alien cum or not? Look, I can't believe we're doing this, but let's have some cum. Whoa, look at you. You want some alien cum. I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off for free alien cum. Take some on the house, and if you like it, just come back and get some more. Just tell all your friends about me. Say, stand her. Where is this shit? Gallon of alien cum. A jar full of alien cum that you <laughs> purchased. It's everything you think. you got to carry this around everywhere now. The absolute best alien cum. if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien but i'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of flam city selling alien cum to the community say all of that right okay Buy a jetpack. Yo, oh, Mr. I saw King, that. Got any jetpacks back there? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait, not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Gene. You know, Jorb, I don't think you're very Wait a minute. Welcome to Mr. Gibbs, who gives a shit. <laughs> You can use it to make music, well not you specifically, you don't go in a rhythm game, but it's just going to take up space in your inventory, maybe you should give it a alright. See I needed to get something for the rest of them now, I needed to get Gus something. I've got shitloads of stuff for whatever his name is, Kenny. Extreme eye sack, Gus can hold a little yeah, extra firepower in a clip. But can you get your grubby hands off that phone and do some inventory before the end of the day? That interesting. Reload oh, faster you know, for the next shot. Sure what about thingy? That nice pop. Come on, Jorb. You're embarrassing me in front of the customer. Oh, yeah, Ammo sack. That's embarrassing. Hey, you, guess what? So it's cheaper My for her. Dad over there won an award for having the world's smallest dick in space. Hey, come on now. Yeah, fluids that allow Sweeney's time bubbles to slow down time and cool down period after usage. Well, I happen to be very proud of my Allows you to remotely by reloading once you Oh, wow, cool. To the uh, I got a great idea. Let's just leave the customer alone now, all right, Jorb? Forget I Reload faster, anything. right. I'll leave it for now. All right, let's go. Thanks for choosing Mr. Keith to not buy anything else. Where's that guy selling the food? He was over here, wasn't he? Yo, bounty hunter, want to do some perfectly legal business? Go on then. Hey, how's the bounty hunting? <laughs> Toilet, what, what the fuck? I haven't got eight. Shit. I got five though. Tracks warp disc. 
move Don't the theater walk this place contains coordinates to walk to an alien movie theater I hear they're playing one of those new human movies ah, I like where your head's at I hope you enjoy your food um Why is something on my map? What is it? Wait, you, you sound like you can't find it. There's something down there. Maybe there isn't. Oh, it's this thing. Oh, what a fucking ripoff. There's another one here somewhere. Is it in there? There's defo another thing around here. Oh, don't worry about it. This means no, it doesn't mean that. Oh shit. Right, let's go and see Gene and see if we can use this other warp disc thing that we've just bought. Finally! What did I do to piss you off? Still sticking stickers on our house. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. How the hell do I use... Rest in your bed. Lights. Ah, oh, it's the next part. Do you want to watch it? Hang on, I'll get closer. Come on, it's fine. You deserve a rest. <laughs> the eyes. How about those babies? Trust me, some shut I will do you good. You're doing a lot of hard work. Bastard looks like you. <laughs> now, show me its power. So you power your hack. This has got to be the part before because we've already seen that guy be killed. Or is this the same part? Go upstairs and get some sleep. I want some privacy down here. If you want to watch the full movie, it's saved to my playlist on YouTube. Just look, go on my playlist and then go on to a, here's the movies. You can't miss it. The whole film's on there, promise you. But anyway, how do I use these damn crystals? How do I teleport in this place again? There's no map, is there? No. Cards. See, look, warp disks. How do I fucking use these things again? <laughs> See, I can't. Oh, hang on. Sector Worlds. Let me try something quick. I just want to go back to one of those blue things, but I can't remember where they were.
wasn't one there. That is where there was one. There was one there. Now then that just takes us... Duh! There's one of these giant blue portal things somewhere. Uh oh. We're heading back. Good fuck em, let's I'm tired of being alone. I just want you here with me right now. Okay. Alright, I'm on my way. Oh wait, my Just don't let my parents <coughs> Where was the last portal place? I swear there was a place I could portal from. But if you have something that is compatible with my little thing, if you want to look at it real quick, I'll show it to you from all angles. Here, you see it this way. Here we go! You look you looking for a new sidekick? Oh you're back. Hey yeah, my leg's still, still very broken. Still sitting there. Uh what's it like up there? You gotta tell nope, me. Nope, calm down, not nope. Oh hey. I'm still here. Where was there a portal place? I'm sure we'll come across one or something will happen. Anyway, sorry, I'm wasting time here. Yeah! Yeah, good thing you like running so much, huh? Come on through, come right on through. I'm probably losing my mind, but I swear there was actually a place over here you could portal through. No warping, okay, fine. Fuck. Hello? Hi, is this Slippo's Pizza? I want a pizza now! I want it right now! Do you get me? Not in 30 minutes or less or whatever. I need it instantaneous! And I know we have the tech for that. Why are you still delivering pizzas by foot? Just zap them to me. There's like 10 different ways you can do it by now. Portal door, warp face, anything. I don't care. Just get it to me right now! Wait. Never mind. I'm not hungry. Bye. Okay. I don't care, I just want to stab it. Then that's the pawn shop again. Come up. How'd you get up on that? Sworn there was a place you could portal through. No, probably not. Aha. Let me do with you girl to your boy. Been a minute, huh? somewhere Let's 
just a random dude sitting up here. What up, buddy? So that can on uh I'm not gonna make it to that. So if we climb up on here. No, can I get up in there then? Fuck it, let's try that ledge, shall we? No, nope, we're not gonna make it. No Fuck it. We tried. Well, anyway, let's go home. literally nothing else here. I'll see one later on or something. I'm bound to find one. There was literally a place you could portal to. Or from. thing in there. Probably just me. I know what I'm looking for. It's a giant blue portal thing. Anyway, let's go. Mm, so this is where the magic happens, huh? Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up, L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all of space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. This game is wicked, isn't it? Such an awesome game to play. I can't wait if they do a second thing, you know? I know they've got a VR thing for us to play on PlayStation 2. I mean right, PlayStation partner. 5. Let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! Oh, check out that landing, goddamn! Okay, stop wasting my time. We are here to advertise shirts, ties, suits. We guarantee I have a back you're gonna to look your good. Ow, 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 my shoes are on. Ow, my shoes are on backwards. Yeah, we guarantee your suit will be on not backwards. All right, thank you so much. Why you can't just hover that? Next week, our alien. That's cool. Whoops. The, uh, maybe let's try that again. They're gonna jumble around and heist things, and you're gonna see them jumble around. Fuck! Oh my god, Doesn't you're gonna sense. watch a bunch of jumbly heist people. And these I'll say it, the jetpack was a great investment. Nice! I get that. Try jetpack, max height, red. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. Oh, I nearly got it. What, have I got to shoot up or something? I don't...
Okay, quit fucking around out there with your new toy. I have a jetpack now. So I could probably get to that ledge. I just can't remember where the fuck I oh my god, no way. Right, let's go. Sad sack flimborg boy. Yeah, toy. tweets a new Fuck boyfriend. Off, Jean, like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain could comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Uh. Well, oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically every... I forgot. Hang on, give me a sec, guys. Upgrades. Mods. Yeah, cool. Everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed-up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look. We've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? No, sorry, but I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. <laughs> the fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this twee guy pregnant, and then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. Okay. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Town. This town is giant. We got buildings. We got banks. We got more. Right, banks. so. The problem is, we ain't got people. I built a town with no one in it. And now we're offering everybody a complimentary 10 pesos. Right. Stand around the town to make it look like people here. I don't know why I built this town. I just wanted to do it. And now we got the Human Haven. Well, hey, oh, this seems pretty nice. You know, I, I bet all the humans are really happy here. There's a doctor here giving free checkups. Got my first physical in years. The doctor didn't really understand the human body, so I don't think it helped at all. But hey, free checkup. 
The toilets here are just out in the open, no dividers. But honestly, we all got used to it real quick. Now it's a fun thing like, hey, Toby's taking a shit. Let's all watch. So you're the one that's saving us all. I get it. I tried reserving the sex room, but the waiting list is really long and they only let one person in at a time. I don't think they know how we have sex. Mm-hmm. Oh, there anything so on there? Let me get this straight. You like it here? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot better than being trapped in a cage. You? Oh, yeah, same. I like it here a lot more. A lot more than being trapped in a cage. We get 12 full meals a day. None of us have the heart to tell them we don't need to eat that much. This place? I don't know. This place is cool. They gave us free air massages. Yeah, I keep telling them it's not really something that humans like, but they keep offering them, so I keep taking them. This guy's weird as hell. Right. Hey, hey, come over here. What's up? I gotta tell you something. What do you gotta tell me? No one follows me to the Arby's we're in, right? No, no one. Okay, Arby's has a brand new sandwich they want me to tell you about. No, uh, this is just taking a bit to... You sound like you can't be my voice. If I'm with someone for a couple of days... How do I use these bloody discs I've got? How do I use these? Now, give me a sec. I've forgotten how you use them. Yeah. Well, that makes it very confusing because commercial. Yeah, you know, I appreciate you having my back, but uh, maybe your sister's right. Or not. What do I care? Team Gene, baby. Well, that's too bad. People should be smarter. I honestly can't fucking remember how you do it. Meat sandwich. I thought I could have done it from here. There was a place. We want you to sit and watch all the human movies we air on here. As a reminder, my name is Humandor the Human, and my bosses will shoot me right no. between the eyes of Jewish and Jewish no. So just stay put, sit right where you are, and keep watching. There was a place, though, I could go to, and it had a portal to it. Like that. This is where I'm... This is a city I live in. Pretty sure it is. It is, yeah, it is. Hello? Who's there? Are you trying to prank call me? Okay. Good work. You got me. I don't give a shit. You think I care about getting pranked? Okay, fuck you! I've got powerful friends. I know a really strong bounty hunter, and I'm gonna send him to kick your ass. How you like that, huh? See what I've got in stock on the food menu. Hi, bounty hunter. How do I use these fucking things? Well, that was a waste of time. Sorry, I can't remember how you bloody use them. It's driving me mad. Where could you go to use it? That portal doesn't work down the end.
Oh, it's bugging the shit out of me. I can't remember how to use these warp discs. I want to go to this place. I want to go to that warp disc that I bought. What is this? This is bugging the shit out of me now. Ah, it wasn't around here, was it? A, a moplet! They say there was a moplet somewhere. <gasps> Look, there's one up there. There's one up there. There's one up there. I'm going to see where this just takes us. I'm so glad we've got this jumpsuit now. This was the place I was thinking of. What the fuck? that right I gotta buy you something nice for your birthday or whatever you like a toilet bowl cleaner what this place let's go to the movie theater I'm just have a little play around on this episode all right guys Wow Cool. Sick. No way, it's actually got a little arcade in it and everything. This is crazy. I love this. It actually feels like a proper odium when you walk in here. Lethal Huggers too. Demon, <laughs> what the fuck? Golden what? <laughs> Can't go in this way. Alright, let's go. Nice, a movie. You wanna watch? Let's sit down. Sit down, sit down, the movie's starting. Sick. Hang on, can I sit a bit further back? Anywhere? So, guys, what are we watching today? I don't know. It's Ooh, like screen, right? yeah, I could get used to this. But I'm you know very, what? I've had my feel, too. I'm over it. What does it say, Rich? Oh, you want to watch some more? I'm, I'm, Demon. Whatever. Demon. Demon winds. Oh, I can hear wind. That's the demon wind. Are you sure it's not an unrelated wind? Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, my grandfather went the exact same way. Somebody got burnt on a cross in 1931. It was a lot more common back then, right? Uh, I don't know. Okay, sure. Yeah, let's just talk over the movie. Stop all those lawn <laughs> crucifixions. <laughs>
I've of, seen this, of this film movie before. we haven't watched. I, I've seen the film before, uh, 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 fourteen different times. Oh my god, you've seen Demon Win fourteen times. Yes, and you guys. Have so not. this has to be really good. Then. Well, I no, can't wait. I, I've watched it fourteen times so I can figure out what the fuck's going on. I'm sorry. The <laughs> <laughs> fireplace made out of cardboard and, and paper doesn't seem like the best idea. We're just going to mess around on this episode, guys, all right? So what relation is Jesus? That's our Uncle Jesus. <laughs> Great Uncle Jesus. Jesus, it, ironically, all of his photos are in color. But all the people born in 1931, all their photos are in black and white. I don't know how they achieved this technological <laughs> marvel. Would it hurt you to smile, Grandma? You're in demon wind. Your career is going places. Uncle Jesus, the college years. Oh, it's my favorite song, Washed in the Blood of the Lamb by Styx. That's what you got? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so they like their candles, I guess. Uh, their wicker baskets. They love the Jesus. The, the Jesus protects the house, when, it, except for the fact that he doesn't protect the house. Candles, glass jars, religious photos, wicker baskets. Oh, now I know where my thrift store got all of its merchandise. That's what you got? Oh my god, this is the worst Thanksgiving ever. No one showed up. The one guy that did show up, they burned on a cross. Help me, Jesus, I'm watching Demon Wind. It's kind of funny, they, they, they've got all this religious picture, all these religious pictures, you know? Oh, they have all these pictures of Jesus, but they never once, like, mentioned Jesus in any of their spells. It's not religious, you know, towards the end, Jay. We've oh, seen you've, you've seen this movie I've before? I've seen this movie before. Right? Oh. MJ. So you paid to see it again in a theater, huh? Uh, I did. That's... Well, that means it's got to be good, right? I, I, I'm assuming so, yeah. We'll find out. spent all their money on the Jesus pictures. Oh. Those boards are nailed to the door. That literally does nothing. You're, you know what I mean? Do, do you know what I'm saying, Rich? I know what you're saying. They're just nailed to the door. They're not, they're not keeping the... Oh, I guess a, a little bit goes on the floor. A couple of them are over there. It would keep you from pulling the door out. That's true. But you know what? In my personal experience, if a demon wants to get in your house, nothing's going to stop it. You know? It's getting stronger. Did Zach Baggins tell you that? He did. Did you bring the daggers yeah. and the diary? You always told me you liked my cooking. He's just uh, having a diabetic reaction to her Christmas cookies. This is what happens when Rich eats fish. You stopped, George. I told you I was allergic to your green bean casserole. I just went to the gym with John Travolta. <laughs> I don't understand that joke at all, but... I think I do, and I don't like it. Does John Travolta have diseases? I don't understand your joke. Oh. 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 <laughs> like that's what was coming out of his mouth, all curdled and disgusted, no. and filled with blood. That's what Hollywood does to you. Are you sure we're not watching David Lynch's Dune? This is the Baron, right? Yeah, drink this snow globe. Drink the snow it's globe. Got, it's got Benadryl in it. <laughs> Both of us. Now the snow globe is magic, Rich. No, my for no reason at all. If she breaks the snow globe, Jesus snow globe, the curse is broken. No, so, no. It's filled with gas. No. I really don't know. No. Although this is only the, the second worst thing. 
the end of the movie no. no ladies and gentlemen ireland's most advanced expressway <laughs> not bad pretty good <laughs> not bad <laughs> as soon as we meet our hero well, Corey, i'll explain to you the lineage or you guys just ask about me anything about i mean this is think? the premise just think uh, about driving. he's driving uh He's taking his girlfriend. How much farther is it to your grandparents? What's her name? Diane or something? Know. I don't know. I think not. Lily Ray, but. B. Arthur? No, he's driving her. Oh, here's a flashback. He's driving her to visit to find his grandparents' uh, uh, farm farmhouse. Farmhouse. And now this is Corey's dad. He hasn't seen his dad Corey. his whole life, and he decides to look him up and visit him. Dad? And then the very next day after what being visited like by his son Corey, his dad kills himself. So a pretty standard Christmas. I mean, maybe he killed himself because he lived in a, no. a cardboard it's apartment building. Right. Or Corey told him he was going to pursue really acting. You, <laughs> I'm in this new film called Demon Wind. Fuck this! I'm sorry, I ever laid eyes on him. Can't live with the shame. Uh, I can't live with the shame the of your career. Me in the face once. Uh, but he hasn't told his girlfriend about that his father killed himself. All he told her is, "Listen, uh, we uh, we gotta go find my grandparents' farm. Yeah. And and I'm gonna invite twelve of my whitest friends to come along, so they can be killed off one by one by demons." I mean, it sounds like a good, like a fun group activity. How many more of them could have rode with in that car? Yeah, it's saved on gas. Yeah, yeah. No room. The back seat was taken up with all of his emotional baggage. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Parents, it's 10 a.m. Do you know where your neglected redheaded stepchild is? Oh, yeah. You're not going to touch the car with that stick. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. <laughs> also, they invented soap. <laughs> that little girl <laughs> get in the bathtub unless you're a ghost do you think she's a ghost i don't know there, there's no indication that she is or isn't she looks like she could be inbred though like, that's very rude see that's why i thought this was ireland some, some, some scummy dirty irish child is just in the shot Unwashed Irish child is in just in their shot. Do you just assume that they don't take baths in Ireland? I don't know. I don't know much about Ireland. Isn't driving fun? So? Don't you love watching people drive just that sense. somewhere rich in a film? Since I saw my old man, there's a. Uh, That's. I mean, it works in Cannonball Run. Like Would you say Demon Win is the Cannonball Run of horror films? <laughs> I think that's a very accurate statement, yes. <laughs> it sounded like you said cannibal run. I did the first time. Uh, right? No, Rich. Oh. So we're gonna we're gonna workshop that later. Okay. <laughs> Can cannibal run? <laughs> cannibal run's a good name for a horror film. But first we gotta talk about this gas station. I've been here before. And what? this very common dream. dream that I've had. I don't know about you guys. It's being naked at a gas station been to before right well holding a what is he holding i think he's there for a loop job oh. <laughs> oh yeah we were naked at a gas station and bloody mother comes up and has her children <laughs> had this dream before oh that's not his mother that's his grandmother Yes. Would you like me to talk about the lineage yet? <laughs> what are you what are you please tell me about the lineage? Well, they're about to go inside the gas station. And that's some of the best scenes in the film. Because we get to see the paper Welcome mache home, gas station. Sorry. We just have to make a drink. It's pretty exciting. I'll wait till the next driving scene. <laughs> to talk about the lineage. I still don't understand it. Yes. 
There's lots of driving and walking and waiting. But why? That was the original title of the film. <laughs> Corey. Corey, are you all right? Yeah. This road is really doing a number on my hemorrhoids. Well, I'm, I'm fine now, really. Oh, see? They spot the gas station from the top of the hill. Then they take the car three miles an hour to the gas station so that we can wait even longer for them to get there. This is where he chose to put his gas station? This does seem like a terrible location. Oh, thank God. I haven't had a customer since 1952. There's not even like a gravel parking lot. No. It's just in the middle of a field. Because it's fake. <laughs> it's a fake gas station, Jay. Oh. There's literally no infrastructure around to, where they could fill the gas tanks up <laughs> under the ground or anything. But it's it's a spooky supernatural gas station. Oh, like it shouldn't be there. What can I do you for? Maybe if that if it's can a ghost gas quick? station, perhaps. But I think you they can? just didn't want to film no at a real place. gas station. This it, map it, that's right know, near so they here. Just made one. I, I I the first time I saw this film, I thought that it was gonna blow up. She wants some gas. Know? It's like when they have an old car in the middle of a field. Oh, no, oh yeah, you know was, it's coming. This film was destined to blow up. What? There's no way this film was going to blow up. <laughs> no, no, the gas station, not the film. <laughs> There's no such place as a barber shop either, so don't go looking for that. Do you think these gas pumps actually work? Right, the map could be wrong. Do you think these it's actors cool. actually work? No, oh, not anymore. Not after Demon Wind came out. This is the place in the dream. I mean, if the you had a dream where you were naked and your mother was bloodied with her throat ripped open, would you stop at this gas station? <laughs> I probably wouldn't. I'd skip it. I mean, they got a window made out of white duct tape. It looks like Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that junky looking. And Rich, this is a gas station, not a high school play set. I guess this movie takes place in a world where all the buildings are constructed from paper mache. Hello? Okay, it's plywood. <laughs> okay. Anybody here? Well, the, the window on that door is definitely made of white duct tape. It's like a pla it's like like Hello? plastic tarp. <laughs> and that's like cardboard. Oh. I picked the wrong boyfriend. <laughs> no, that's what I want. <laughs> hey, the, the bathroom. No, he was back. the one that was naked in the dream. Hey, Harmon. Oh, she's gonna release some demon wind. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> this is very common behavior. It's very realistic. A moon for the misbegotten. This is what the humans do. Please, Corey. I just want you to lighten up. Is this movie made by the demon wind? Maybe they're on their. Honeymoon? <laughs> I'm afraid the character made a joke about that. Can we get something to drink? <laughs> he says something about a moon. I think it's a quote from something. We have beer, coke, water, and goat's milk. Ooh, I'll take the goat's milk. Uh, coke, please. Thank you. Has anyone else been in here today? Old man Deaver's a week ago. And Mrs. Wilson came by with little Linda Linda looks like week. she's from 1940 or 30. Is she a ghost? I think she's a ghost. Did you meet her when she you was think? Or a demon? Yeah. A demon disguised as a person? I think she's a demon ghost from the 19... from Grandma's time. I think Do you think they're turning a profit with those 50-cent fish burgers? <laughs> Did you meet little Linda? Well, I mean, nobody week? drives by there for gas, no, so they gotta supplement Linda. their income somehow. Uh, can you tell us how far the Carter farm is Do gas here? pumps even work? No. If they're just there for show. It's like a decoration. <laughs> to you know, entice so you to come in and get a sandwich? Right. <laughs> a fish burger. To get a fish burger. <laughs> for a barbecue. A barbecued fish burger? Sure, why not? Hey, I need some gas. Oh, our gas pumps don't work. Gotta be come on, food. have a fish burger <laughs> while you're here. And some goat's milk. I, 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 I still understand why Dell kisses her on the mouth. Right, guys, unfortunately, sorry, I've got to cut it there, I'm afraid. I've nearly recorded up to an hour, but when the next episode comes out, it will continue straight on from where this left off, all right? So you're not missing any of this film. 
All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to hit me in the bell and you can be notified when I do more of this crazy shit. Love all of you. Much love. See you later.